Welcome back everyone to the commonly used Excel charts and functions video series. Today in lesson four, we will be going over line charts. Just as a reminder, we suggest watching each video twice, just watching the first time and then watching and following along the second. You may remember from video one, we created a simple single series line chart. One of the main advantages of working with a line chart though, is that you can plot multiple lines on one graph. Just for a refresher though, let's go over how to make that single series line chart again. You can see this time I have sales and profit data, and each one of these columns is gonna be its own line on the graph. But since we're only gonna do the single line graph to start off with, all I need to highlight is the quarter and sales titles, as well as its data. I'm gonna go to the insert tab and select the line option, and then go to the 2D line. So as you can see, it's really easy to make that single series line chart, but as soon as you start adding multiple lines, it becomes more difficult. Let's delete that one and try the two line line chart. Gonna highlight quarter sales and profit this time, as well as all the data I want included and go to the line option again. This time I'm gonna select the second choice in the drop down menu, which is the stacked line chart. Now, when I look at this, I see an issue right away. You can see that Excel automatically assigned orange to our profit line. And when I look at our profit line, it's higher than our sales values, which isn't possible. This issue is because we chose the stacked line chart, which means that the second line is the sum of the first data series and the second series, which in our case is sales and profit. We don't want this, so make sure to avoid using the stacked uh, line chart. So let's delete this one as well. Now let's move on to the correct line chart. I'm gonna highlight all my data again, go to the line option and just select the first line. So as you can see, this automatically looks a lot better just because the lines are actually correct this time. Now we're gonna play around with this graph a bit to make it easier to read. So I'm going to take a copy of it and put it on the right hand side here um, so we can do a direct comparison at the end. So one thing that should be standing out to you right away is that the chart title needs to be changed to something both descriptive and exciting to the audience. So I'm going to use the placeholder title to delete and then I'm gonna change it to 2021 sales and profit. Now in the first video, we touched on changing the colors of the graph. And it's really important that when you change the colors of the graph, you are careful about what each tone of the colors evoke. It's important to remember that cool colors usually represent gains, while warm colors usually represent losses. So as you can see, Excel automatically assigned orange to our profit here, and profit isn't a loss, so we want to change that color to something cooler. So what I'm going to do is double click on the line and move to the right hand side here. I'm going to select the paint can and then go to the color options here and then just select on the menu. And I want to choose a cool color, like I said, so I'm going to go with green. So that looks a little bit better, but again, remember the legend in the bottom here is small, hard to read, and our eyes have to track the colors to which lines they represent. So what I'm actually going to do is incorporate the legend into my graph title by double clicking, highlighting sales, and then changing sales to the color that the line represents. So this one's going to be blue, and then since our profit line is green, I'm going to change the profit text to green. I can then delete the legend I have at the bottom here to reduce clutter. And then there we go. You can see by looking at the graph on the left and the graph on the right, the right hand one is a lot easier to read. All right, now let's try and make a graph or a line graph with more than two lines. So you can see here, I have some new data that's um, four different products with their sales values for each quarter. If I include all four of these products in my line graph, then I'm gonna have four lines. So let's try and make this one super quick. Gonna highlight my data, 
go to my line options and then again do the stacked line chart. So as you can see again, this should stand out as an error to you right away because each line is the sum of all the previous lines before it. So again, remember, do not use the stacked line chart. So I'm going to delete this one and now let's actually make our chart. When you're working with more than two lines, it's kind of useful to work backwards. This is something very different than what we're used to, so just hold on with me for a second. I'm going to go to my line options in the insert tab and just select 2D line. You can see Excel automatically just put a blank box in here as a blank canvas for my graph. I'm going to right click and then select the select data option and then go to the left hand side here where it says legend entries and press the add button. You can see it's prompting me to add a series name and series values. So I'm going to fill in each of these boxes for each product I have. So the first one is going to be juice. I'm going to delete that one they have in there for the series values and then just highlight and drag down on all four of my sales values and press OK. So you can see juice was added for me there. Now I'm going to add my next one, which is T. Again, deleting what they have in there already, highlighting, and then just pressing OK. Now repeat the steps for the last two, and then you should be ready to make your line graph. All right, and then just ice cream, and then select the data, and then OK. Now there's one last thing on the right-hand side here, the horizontal axis labels. You can see they were automatically set to one, two, three, and four. This isn't what we want. We want it to say quarter two, one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. So I'm going to press that edit button there. And then you can see it's prompting me to insert my axis label range. And I'm just going to highlight all four of my quarters there and then press OK. Press OK again. And you can see this line chart is correct because my lines are actually plotted correctly this time. Now again, you'll probably be noticing that those freestanding elements are missing. So we'll go to that green plus sign on the right hand side and add those axis titles, the chart labels, and the legend as well. Let's quickly edit these up just to make our graph a little more descriptive. So our title will be 2021 sales by quarter. Our X axis label will be quarter and our y-axis label will be 2021 sales. So while this graph is kind of complete, it's still hard to read. You can see that the graph part itself, the lines are very colorful and they're all overlapping each other, which makes it kind of hard to follow one line specifically. Also, the legend on the right-hand side is small, hard to read, and it's hard to track which color represents which line. So we're going to again play around with different elements of the chart to make it easier to read. So I'm again going to make a copy of this chart and move it to the right hand side so that we can do a comparison at the end. Now one of the things, first things I want to change is the legend. Excel automatically put the legend labels in just a random order but what I want to do is I want my labels to be ordered according to the ending points of each line. That way our eyes can automatically just draw across to the line and see which um, product they represent. So I'm going to delete that legend that I added and then I'm going to double click on my chart area. I'm going to pull in on the corner a bit and make some room on the right hand side so that I can insert a legend. And I'm going to go to the insert tab and go to text on the right hand side here and select text box. I'm going to draw the text box here and then again I'm going to label my lines by the um, way that each line is finished. So I'm going to go coffee, tea, juice, and ice cream going to move it down a little bit and then there you go. You can see that you can just horizontally trace each label over which makes the legend a bit easier to read. Now for colors you can see we kind of have a mess going on in the middle here. 
If you try and single each line out specifically, you can see that our T and juice lines have more of a stable pattern over all four quarters, while our coffee line and our ice cream line kind of jump around and seem to have seasonal patterns. Therefore, what I want to do is I want to push those tea and juice patterns and lines into the background so that those coffee and juice seasonal patterns stand out more. So I'm going to select my juice line first, or I guess tea first, and we'll go to the right hand side and select the paint can. And then we'll go to the color option menu and I'm just going to select gray so that it stands, um, so that it's put in the background. Then I'm going to go to juice, double click on the line, it's already on the paint can for me, and then I'm going to go to the color options again and select that same gray so that they're the same color and they are both pushed into the background. Ice cream was already highlighted in yellow so we can keep it that way, but let's change the color coffee so that it stands out more. So double click, select the paint can, go to the color options, and let's select blue for this one. Now the one last change I'm going to make is I'm going to highlight each uh, label here in the corresponding line color just so that the um, legend is a bit easier to read. And then I'm going to make the legend a bit bigger itself as well. And then just move it up. So there we go, our graph is done. And if we do a quick comparison with the left and the right hand sides, you can see on the right hand side, the legend is a lot easier to read and easier to tell which line represents what product and the data patterns stand out more in the right hand side. Thank you for watching and tune into the next lesson where we will be talking about column charts.